It's a big step for most women to file a civil protection order. They may be afraid it will anger the abuser and inflame an already volatile situation. But if you do decide you want the courts to help to try to keep an aggressor away, we want to help walk you through the process. Now, the petition itself can be found at the county courthouse where you reside. In Mahoning County's case, you can even get the petition online going through the domestic relations court. There's also a large space on the application to fill out the details of the incident or reason you're afraid, describe the violence in detail, threats, physical abuse, any bruising or hospitalization required. Now, if there are witnesses or proof such as emails or text messages or even threats on social media, those should be kept and documented. It is free to file for a protection order and you do not need an attorney. You must show up at all hearings though or the petition will likely be dismissed. Now, if the judge does grant the protection order, you must keep a copy with you at all times. The police will need to see it if your abuser breaks the terms of the order. The terms could include the abuser being banned from your home, your place of employment, and even your children's school.